Hi scholars, today we are going to talk about some geometry concepts. This is TEAG 4.6a. It says, I can identify points, lines, line segments, rays, angles, perpendicular, and parallel lines. So I'm going to talk about each one step by step, and then we will look at some examples together. Okay. Let's talk about different kinds of lines. So the first one is a parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that never touch or intersect. They are always the same distance apart. I always compare or associate parallel lines with straight angles or lines. So, you know, basically these are both straight and they're the exact same distance apart all the way. So they're straight same distance apart. They are never going to touch. Now, even if you extend them, they still won't touch. So sometimes I kind of draw little dots to show the extension that they won't touch. Let's look at some examples. So here is an example of parallel lines. Never going to touch same distance apart. Here's another one. Even though they're like not right next to each other like this, they're like this, they are still parallel because even when you extend it, it's never going to touch. Here's another one here, never going to touch. Another one. Here's another one. Now let's talk about this one. They're not touching but are they same distance apart all the time? No, because over here it's quite a distance apart, but then over here it's less distance apart. So when you think about extending the line, that's what I always do to show they're going to eventually cross. So even though they're not touching right this second, when you think about the line extending, they will eventually touch. So these are not considered parallel. They're actually considered intersecting, which we'll talk about later. These are definitely not parallel. They are touching, they are intersecting, they are not the same distance apart. So this is a no. Okay, now the next one is called perpendicular lines. These are lines that cross or intersect I don't like to use the word intersect because we're going to be learning about intersecting lines. And so, but intersecting means crossing. So, um, and they form four right angles. Now you're wondering, well, wait, what was a right angle again? So I went ahead and wrote the definition. Right angles are an angle that forms a square corner. It has a 90 degree angle. So here's the right angle that I showed you. Here is an example using the sticks. Okay. So what they're saying is these lines will cross and there will be a right angle in it. So here is my right angle, okay? And it would show up right there. Now, ironically enough, in this one, it's here and it's here and it's here. So. When you make the letter T, the lowercase t, or a cross, then um, you're going to have four right angles over there. So let's look at some examples of different ways you would probably see perpendicular lines. They're not always going to look like that. Okay, so let's look at the first one. So in this one, notice this one is much longer, but I still have my right angle. Here's my little right angle cheating thing right here. I also see it here. I also see it here. I also see it here. Okay, let's look at the next one. This one, it's pretty sure. It's a for sure thing. It's right there. This one, it's here. And it's here. This one is its twin. This one you could say this is perpendicular, this one here, this one, whoops, this one, or this one. 
Oh, let's look at this one. I like to use my little per uh, perpendicular cheat thing or my right angle. So what I do is I make sure I line up one of the lines with it and I notice it's not matching up. So I'm not going to immediately say no because maybe it's somewhere else. So I line it up this way. That one doesn't work. See that yellow part sticking out? Maybe here. Line it up with that one. Nope. Maybe here. Nope, doesn't work. So this one I will be teaching about next. This is called intersecting. So perpendicular has all right angles like these. Intersecting is going to have obtuse and acute. So obtuse, obtuse, acute, acute. Again, this is another one. This one is also intersecting. The right angle does not work in any of these. Clearly you see the two obtuse angles and the two acute angles right here. This one's a little tricky. This is probably the most trickiest one. It looks intersecting, but if you look very carefully, my right angle fits perfectly. Whoops, let me just fix my right angle to be a right angle. Moved. Whoops. But this is actually perpendicular. But when you put it like this, kind of like the railroad crossing signs, it looks intersecting, like acute, acute, obtuse, obtuse. But when you turn it that way, it's perpendicular. So be careful about that one. Okay, let's talk about the last one in this video, intersecting lines. These are lines that cross and have acute and obtuse angles. An acute angle is less than a right angle. So in red, I drew a right angle. And then I just showed you that an acute angle would be less than that. Obtuse angle will be more than a right angle. So in red, I drew the right angle. And then I'm just showing you in black that the obtuse would kind of stick out from there. So here's an example of what an obtuse angle would look like. It's wide open. Acute angle is small. Um, here are, here's an example using the sticks. Remember, this is my right angle. So an acute would be all less than that. Here's my right angle again. Obtuse would be more than that. Okay, so here's an example of intersecting lines. The intersecting lines, if you look at this, this one right here, this is acute. This is small. The one opposite of, it, opposite of it is also acute. And then over here, see how wide open this is? That's obtuse. And then the one on top is also obtuse. Okay. Let me go over some pictures and examples. So let's look at the first one. This is clearly acute and obtuse angles. Obtuse, obtuse, acute, and acute. Here's another one. Acute and acute, obtuse and obtuse. Your line links don't have to be the same on both sides. It can be short here and long here, as long as it's crossing and you see the uh, acute and obtuse angles. This one's a little tricky because it looks like they're not crossing, but what I always do is I always like use a pencil and like extend it. I would extend it on the paper. So I'm just showing you that this is what this looks like with this line extending. And so clearly you see the acute and the cute and obtuse and obtuse. So even though in the picture or the video, this doesn't look like it's um, coming out here, but you, you can always take a pencil and draw on your paper or your worksheet or countdown, and you can see that it is making the acute and acute and obtuse, obtuse. This one, acute, acute, obtuse, obtuse. This one, acute, acute, obtuse, obtuse. There's another one, acute, acute, obtuse, obtuse. So this is also intersecting. This is the one from the perpendicular video. This is making a right angle. So this is actually considered perpendicular. Sometimes when it's like this, it looks like it's intersecting, but you've got to be really, really careful. Now, I can make this intersecting 
by changing the angles like that. Here is a tricky one. A lot of people say they're parallel because they're not touching. And then some people want to say they're intersecting, but then people are like, but they're not crossing. So it's kind of like that lime green one that I showed you earlier. You extend the line. So if you kind of just imagine these extended, they will eventually cross. And so you have to do that in order to determine that it's intersecting. Okay, it's time for checkpoint. I'm going to show you some lines and you are going to press pause, say out loud what you think it is, and you have to tell me how do you know. So let's start with the first one. This is going to be your first example. Press pause. Okay, so this is intersecting. How do you know? There's an obtuse angle here, an obtuse angle here, an acute angle here, an acute angle there. Let's look at our next example. What is this? Press pause. Okay, this is a perpendicular set of perpendicular lines because here is my right angle okay if it was intersecting it would be like this and remember we talked about how you can extend the line and you could say that's acute that would be acute obtuse and obtuse but because it's creating a right angle you would say it's perpendicular okay how about this one Press pause. Okay. You want to say it's intersecting, but remember I told you, oh, whoops. I meant for it to be <laughs> perpendicular. You want to say it's intersecting because it looks like they're just crisscrossing and making intersecting lines, but when you look, there's a right angle, and so it's perpendicular. That's probably the only tricky part of all, all, between all of these um, the rest are really, really easy. So if you know that and you're aware, then you should be fine. Okay. What about these? Press pause. Okay. These are parallel because they are never touching and they are the same distance apart the whole time. If I had it like this, this would not be parallel because it's not the same distance apart the entire way. And you know eventually they're going to cross. Remember we talked about extending the line? Well, scholars, there you had it. I taught you points, lines, line segments, rays, angles, perpendicular, parallel, and intersecting lines. We said that a point is an exact location in space. A line is forever going on both sides, so there will be arrows. Line segments is there's a stop and an end point, and it has um, uh, two, two points at the end. So it won't go on on either side forever on either side. It's just going to stay there. A ray has a point or a starting point on one side, and then it keeps going on the other. Angles are two lines meeting at the same end point. It could be two line segments or two rays. So it would be like this. This is an angle. We talked about acute angles, right angles, obtuse angles. We have perpendicular lines right here. They create right angles. We have parallel lines, lines that never touch. And then we have intersecting lines, which I don't know why it's not in the teak, but there's acute, acute, obtuse, and obtuse. There you have it.